Hi everyone, I'm Huang Yuxuan from National Taiwan University. I'm happy to be here to present our work, KTAR, the novel stereoscopic augmented reality cataract surgery training system with dexterous instrument tracking technology. Although there are many AR applications for training nowadays, <coughs> we found there are still two important questions not be answered yet. First, is AR technology capable of dexterous training? Second, is that possible to apply AR technology to the microscope scale? We have tried to find these answers through this study. Before we get started, some of you may not familiar with the disease cataract. So what is cataract? <coughs> there is a transparent biconvex lens in our eye behind the iris. The lens can focus the light on the retina and make us see clearly. However, it will become opaque when we're getting older, which will decrease the intensity of light and damage our vision. And this is cataract. According to WHO's report, more than half of blindness around the world is due to untreated cataract, representing 20 million people worldwide. How to treat cataract? The goal of cataract surgery is to replace the opaque lens with artificial lens. Here's the first two steps of, of cataract surgery. First, we have to create a cornea incision wound. Second, surgeon will use the forceps to tear a circular opening on the lens capsule. This is so-called capsulorhesis and is the most uh, difficult step of cataract surgery. According to our investigation, it's hard to match the skill of cataract surgery due to three reasons. First, the absence of force feedback. The lens is surrounded by a thin and transparent membrane called lens capsule, and this capsule is too thin to provide noticeable resistance during operation. Besides, the lens is su suspended by fragile ligament called zonia of zinc, you can easily broken them apart with improper strengths, but still, you won't feel anything while this happened. The second challenge is, how can a trainee reproduce the subtle movement performed by their supervisor? A surgical microscope usually have one assistant microscope to, for trainee to observe the surgical field. Although assistant can see the same images as the operator's view, they cannot see the hand posture simultaneously. The depth of the instrument tip is difficult to judge through the microscope. For example, trainee may speculate two different holding angles of the knife according to the image. Although they look similar, one of them may result a bad wound. The third challenge is lack of realistic training model. In the traditional training process, young surgeons will practice on the animal eye first. Then they will practice on the single-use artificial eye models or a set of props such as Kitaro Dry Lab to simulate the structure of different steps. However, all of them do not have realistic cataract. Their size are larger than human eyes, and their physical characteristics such as thickness or tenacity of lens capsule are quite different from the real ones. In conclusion, surgeons can get familiar with surgical steps by conventional training methods, but not able to require, acquire the surgical skills they need. True human cases are still necessary to accumulate experience of surgical skills. To overcome these three challenges and to design an innovative training method, we need a dexterous mo motion capsule system. In 1995, Sinclair et al. invented a computer simulated eye surgery system utilizing Pohema's tracking stylus as their input in interface. In 2013, Researchers from INRIA put four optical ma markers on a 3D printed props and used six infrared cameras to calculate the positions. Help Me See is a global campaign to eliminate cataract blindness in the developing countries. They designed a simulator with small robotic arm as the input interface to train the cataract surgeon. IC is the only available product in the market now. They put three cameras under the controller tips and combined with whole sensors to detect the positions. If we compare the real forceps with those input interface mentioned above, you will agree that those controllers cannot provide real operation experience for the users. Not mention you can use many different kinds of forceps to perform the same procedure, which means you won't learn the useful skills unless you use the same instrument in both practice and real surgery. Therefore, KTAR has three design goals. First, we want to provide subtle but realistic force feedback to the users. 
Second, Keta should have ultra high accuracy on dexterous movement tracking. Most importantly, we decide to let users use the real instrument while practicing with Keta. Implementation: Keta has three main parts: video see-through AR platform, dexterous instrument tracking, and high-resolution display system. In video see-through AR platform, we build realistic mannequin and eye model on the table. Above that, we set a stereo microscope camera module to capture the real images. For dexterous instrument tracking, we use only two sets of infrared cameras and light sources. One is beside the microscope module, and the other is under the eye model. After the real and virtual images are composited, the final images will be displayed on a pair of 4K monitors and be reflected into the eyepiece by mirrors. We use two realistic models to provide passive haptic feedback. For a novice surgeon, finding a stable hand posture on a patient's face is the first challenge. A 3D scan head mannequin with realistic bone structure can help them to practice. The eyeball is soft during cataract surgery. We 3D printed the upper part of the eye model with soft material to simulate this property. Therefore. The instrument can be rotated freely in a vertical direction, and the forceps opening angle will be limited while tilting. We only need two simple steps to prepare the instruments. First, we have to attach one reflective marker to the distal ends of the instrument. Users' performance won't be affected by this marker because of its tiny size and light weight. The next step is to measure the distance between three landmarks of the instrument. Eye doctors are extremely concerned with the image quality in simulators because they use microscope frequently. In Keta system, we use dual 4K monitor as image sources. The distance between eye and monitor was 32 cm to provide 50 degree viewing angle. A display system with 60 pixel per degree resolution can generate a 2020 vision image. Keta has 43 PPD resolution and is much higher than the other hand mount displays. The stereo accuracy of Ketar surgeon is around 60 seconds of arc. The Ketar system can provide 42 seconds of arc stereopsis and is sufficient for surgical training. System evaluation. We use a three axis linear translation stage with micrometer drives to evaluate the tracking accuracy and precision of the system. The system accuracies of the tip and the end were 20 and 59 micrometer respectively. We designed five training modules in Ketar system. While practicing with Ketar, trainee can see the stereoscopic AR images from the eyepiece, and instructors can see the corresponding 3D animations at the same time. Warning indicators are set on the wound edge to emphasize instrument collisions. The quantity and time of wind both touch was recorded by the system. In the NT tremor module, the user has to touch virtual balls and keep the instrument stable for five seconds. The motion range and the trajectory of the instrument tip were recorded. The second is anterior chamber indication module. The user has to touch the white ball first to pop up the blue ball in random depths. The time user takes from white ball to blue ball is the search time. The circular tracing module is most advanced training of spatula. User has to trace the reference circle with the tip, and the facet uh, distance was calculated to represent the difference from two curves. The fourth module is the basic training of forceps. The time user used to catch the blue ball is search time and the time required to bring the blue ball to the white ball is defined as the grab time. The capture resist module is the last and the most comprehensive module in Ketar system. The user has to grasp the box and drag it along a virtual guidance curve to the releasing point. The parameters in this module are the same as the full set module. The user study was performed from March to April in last year. 28 participants were included in this study they were divided into three groups according to their level of training. Novice had no hands-on surgical experience. Intermediate training had performed partial steps before, 
and experienced trainees are able to complete cataract surgery by themselves. After five minute introduction and warm up section, pre intervention test was done from module one to five. After practice for around one hour, post intervention was done. Subjective efficacy and system performance was investigated by the questionnaire after intervention. Another questionnaire about six skill transfer was complete uh, one month later. Besides the improvement after practice, a good training system must have the ability to discriminate different skill levels by its scoring parameters. Comparing the pre-intervention score of novice and experienced trainees has been a standard method of construct validity. Result, in construct validity analysis, 52% of parameters are passed. If the wound-related and anti-tremor parameter are excluded, the pass rate will be increased to 80%. The reason will be discussed later. Participants obtained significant improvement after a one-hour intervention in 97% of parameters. Furthermore, most of them are highly significant. In compare with traditional training methods, the CATA system was evaluated to have better efficiency in all training goals than the pig eye and second eye. Practice on a real human eye almost achieve full scores in every question. However, the CATA system sh could provide similar training effects to human eyes in practicing the pivoting technique and its repeatability. The overall efficacy was excellent and they would like to use CATA as a standard training method. One month after intervention, 15 participants report subjective re improvement in real surgery in the following aspects pivoting technique, instrument handling posture, navigation technique, and minimize wound damage. Discussion. Today, we don't have any training tools that can actively remind the condition of wound for cataract surgeons. That might be the reason the experienced group did not perform well in wound-related parameters. However, all participants showed significant improvement after practice. Physiological tremor is a kind of involuntary movement which is difficult to control and will be aggravated by stress, fatigue, caffeine, and unstable posture. That's why there's no significant difference between novice and the experienced group in anti-tremor parameters. Before the intervention, although some of novice did not feel any depth sensation, the experienced trainee usually can approach the virtual bowl quickly and precisely. This confirmed that stereopsis plays an important role in the microsurgery simulator and the CATA system is sufficient to build users' hand-eye coordination after practice. In circular tracing model, maintain stable depth while tracing is quite difficult, which needs a proficient hand-eye coordination and depth perception. Novice can achieve a better circle after practice, but still worse than the baseline of experienced surgeon. In forced training module, novice can re reach some of the virtual both precisely and quickly but fail many times in the others. Experienced trainee has more stable performance than novice. Capturesis is very difficult in real surgery. Surgeons usually need more than one year to learn this skill by traditional training methods. With scatter system, it only takes one hour for this second year resident to grasp the virtual flap faster, to draw a smoother trajectory, and to complete this task in a shorter time. In this study, we propose CATAR, which is the first AR-based surgical training system using real instrument as a user interface. This system can discriminate surgical performance between different experience levels and can become a new assessment tool for surgical proficiency. In the Kirkpatrick training evaluation model, CATAR already passed the reaction and the learning level and shows some preliminary result of the skill transfer. Could we also improve the surgical outcome of the patients? Please keep following our research and you will know. Finally, back to the question I mentioned in the beginning, Keta proved that with delicate design, AR technology is capital for dexterous training and can be applied to the microscope scale. We hope this field can be exploded further in the future. Thank you for your attention. I'll be happy to take questions. for some questions.
I have one question. Um, okay. So, so I know like it's pretty impressive um, that people train for an hour and then can improve so much. And I wonder if there are like long-term plans for include this in like real practice and how that's going to um, like com combine with like the real observation and also like training on this uh, machine. Um, uh, yes, we, we have long-term plan about the, sorry. So it's about the level three behavior. It means the transfer of the skill to the uh, real surgery. So now we have some uh, method to evaluate from the videos recorded f uh, from the uh, real surgery. So we can uh, give some scores. Then we'll, we can compare the uh, real surgery scores before and after the intervention. And this is for the behavior that uh, skill transfer. And for the long term, we can um, record the post-operation visual acuities to know if they have more, a better result after these interventions. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you for the talk. It was <laughs> Thank very you. interesting. Yeah. I'm Ankit from University of Bremen. I have a small question, but maybe it's irrelevant here. So the question is like, do you need force feedback in cataract surgery, like because to feel the the texture of the eye? Uh, yes, we we have we need some of the passive um, uh, haptic feedbacks, but because the lens is very thin and small, so we didn't feel anything during the real operation. If okay. we feel something, that means bad. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So we we have to try to rely on our uh, visual feedback only. Okay, okay, yes. so because it's so yeah. small and thin. Yes, yes, okay. and thin. Thank you. Thank you. Yours? Oh, sure. <laughs>